Hey there, in this video, I'm excited to show you one of the most powerful benefits of working in Revit and how it implements the building information modeling paradigm. Okay, that's the single coordinated model. It is pretty amazing and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll love it. So stay put, don't go anywhere. All right, so to begin, I've opened the file. This is the Revit file. Okay, this is, um, I, and I have like four views open. This file, I'm going to attach it, the link to it in the description, do where to go and get it. Okay, so when you get it and um, you don't have this view open, you can head over to the project browser to open them, okay? You can see the azonometric in the 3D view section. You can see the call out, okay? You can see the south elevation here and you can see the schedule over here, the door schedule. All right, so... Now that you have it open, all the four views, now, whenever it asks you to save, please enter what to see that you, you saved. Okay? Okay, now that the files, you have opened the views, head over to the view section, all right, and then you'll see tab view, you'll see tile views, okay? Click on the tile views, and it's going to separate the views in four different places for you. All right? So now everything is not where they're supposed to be. So you come over here. Sorry. Right click. Okay. Just click in an empty space. Like right click and zoom to fit. Do the same thing to everyone. This one is already zoomed to fit. I don't think there's anything we are doing here. Right click and now it's not even working there. All right now. So to move on. All right. Now that we have opened the views. All right. I want to zoom into this area. I want to make this area more, well, this is the area of our focus, okay? This is what I want to use to show us what it is we want to do. So keep your mouse cursor on the door and then use your scroll wheel, all right? That will zoom into that door, all right? If I kept it here and I zoom in, see, zoom into the fence. If I kept it here, I zoom in, zoom in to this, you know, curb here. All right, now you can hold down your middle mouse button and then drag it. That will help you. But this, what I just did now is called is called zooming in and panning. So this pans and then this zooms in. All right, all right. So now point your mouse again, the cursor of your mouse on that door. This time I want you to select it. All right. All right. Now that I've selected it, you notice that the door was highlighted here. I was also highlighted here. All right. That is because this is the same door. We're just viewing it from different point of views. All right. You see the door is highlighted here, here, and here. All right. So if I should make any changes to this door, let's say I come to this plan, okay, and I select it again over here, and I decide to nudge it, okay, using your arrow keys in your keyboard. All right, I decided to move it. You can see that the door is moving on all three views. All right, can you see that? Yeah, make sure you are selecting the door, not this. This is a different element. This is a tag, the door tag. Well, if you select this, this is the door itself. So I can come over here too on this elevation, click on the tab or you know anywhere to make sure that this tab, this, this tab here is the one that is active. You can now still do the same thing over here, okay? As you can see, I'm nudging it up and it is moving all over the place. Right. Now that we have seen that it is the same door and we can move it all over the place. Another thing that shows you how coordinated this building model is, the Revit building model is, okay, is you can see over here, you can see this door tag, you have a lot of doors here. You have door one, door two, door three. These are them doors. You can see door one, door two, and door three. So you notice that when I selected it here, it's not showing anything over here. Okay. But when I come over here and select it, you can see that same door is selected. You can see one and you selected. If I select, if I come here and select number two, you can see the number two is selected, but we cannot see it here and here because the door is not showing in this view. It is inside. This door is inside. You can see you selected inside here. If I decide to select number three, okay. You can see number three is selected, okay? Now, with this, I can make a change to this door from here and it's going to affect this door over here. Okay, let's even start with the 
most basic this mark i can change the mark number from here i can come here and select and, and add one zero behind and i hit enter you can see we have the door mark changed to number 10. okay it is coordinated this door here is shown here but as an information okay it is shown as an information all right so i can still come back here and change it here down to one okay I can come over here and change the type of door. You realize that when I click on this type, it brings out a drop down, a drop down menu. So if I select this one, you see, it became bigger a little bit because this is 1010. The one I had before was 900. So those are examples that demonstrate the potential of a single coordinated model. This feature proves to be highly advantageous as it eliminates the needs to duplicate modifications across multiple drawings to maintain coordination we get okay so instead now users can conveniently implement changes in any prepared view with the assurance that these modifications will seamlessly synchronize throughout the entire building information model this advancement marks a significant departure from the past where repetitive adjustments were required for coordination Okay, now, with a unified model, the workflow becomes more efficient and dependable, allowing for increased confidence in the overall design process. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, if this is the first video of this channel that you're watching, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.